Dick Donovan. Let it in the air, dropped him on the rope. Well, it almost went over those ropes. Had it been, it would have been automatic disqualification on Donovan. So Donovan saw him, him yeah, he grabbed him and pulled him back in because he knew the situation he was about to be in there. Backbreaker across the knee. Count is one, two. Two count, Leonard still in there. We're at four minutes, four minutes gone in this match. Donovan out on the apron, climbing the rope. Off top rope. Oh, Leonard moves. And Jake Donovan, his turn, gone awry. Leonard's limping, though. Boy, he nailed Donovan back in the corner. Tim Leonard after him. Donovan catches him with a foot. Turn leg, leg lock. He's going for it. Into the figure four. One of Donovan's favorites. And submission by Leonard. Boy, Donovan loves that hole. And once he gets the figure four, it's uh, usually over because he does it well. You got to give him that. And boy, he got it on Tim Leonard. And no continuing for Leonard. He had to give it up on submission. Five minutes, three seconds. The win is going to the Golden Boy. Trick His Donovan. legs are so powerful. He is so tremendously built that he can really put the squash on that figure four, man. He really can pair up. Donovan limping away. It's tough on his leg. Too. Yeah, that's really the truth, too. Okay, I got lay there's our opening bow. We're going to be taking a look at a, a sensational match that came out where a lot of people were very happy. Steve Kern took on Ron Bass for the Mid-America heavyweight title. We'll be seeing that in just a moment. We're going to be back into action here in just a moment, coming up on Channel 3's Championship Wrestling, and I'll tell you the entire card a little bit later. I want to get the superstar in here. On this tape, Billy, they're going to see something where Chick Donovan comes out with a Southern heavyweight belt. I think you know all about that one. That's right, Lance. I think it's a joke, and I think Chick Donovan's a joke, and Jimmy Hart's a joke. Hart, your whole family's deserting you. They're running away from your brother, and when I beat Donovan, he's going to run away from you. Lance, I wanted to make it a title match, but he said no deal. Donovan, I'm going to beat you, and I'm going to force the title match. Thank you. You'll see it, a special challenge match, a superstar going against the Golden Boy. And then you are going to see a couple of matches that we'll have involved in a Dutch Mantel the Dream Machine, and Steve Kern. And by golly, I'll tell you, Dutch, a little bit later, they're going to see something that Tojo and his boys pulled on you guys. Well, first of all, you people keep watching because you're going to see something that happened to me, and Tojo attacked me without provocation, and I don't think he's justified. And Steve Kern came to help me. Me and the Dream were in trouble, and Steve helped us out. But when we get to Louisville Tuesday night, Tojo, we're going to teach you and your boys that little lesson. You better slap them long and hard because we're coming in there and we're coming in there for blood. Mark my words. And that's not all of it, it's either. It's not all about no. long shot because it's all coming down to that squeaking hard graveyard, digging a coffin, buying a long time weeping, and a family crime because the dream machine's mask is up at stake against the nightmare's hair. You know, we unmasked them right there last week in the Louisville Gardens, and this week we will shave their head bald. Come on in here. Steve, you were the man on the spot when they needed you, Dutch and Dream. It was three against two, and you made it all even well, up. Well, I'll tell you, Lance, things are getting wilder and wilder. Every time I come to the matches, any town it is, it's going to be a wild match. So I've been looking forward to being these men's partner, and I'm going to be right there when they need me. Louisville Gardens, you'll see it. Steve Kern, Dutch Mantel, the Dream Machine, will be going against Onito Fuchi and Yamamoto. Then don't forget also that you're going to see the nightmares with Jimmy Hart's hair at stake. He volunteered it against the Dream Machine's mask and Dutch Mantel. All of that happened in the gardens on Tuesday night. Don't you dare miss that one. Steve Kern, an exciting athlete out of Tampa, Florida. Boy, we've really enjoyed watching him since we've had the opportunity uh, on a regular basis. Went against Big Ron Bass, who held the Mid-America Heavyweight Championship. And, of course, Ron coming in at 293. Boy, this guy and looks so much bigger than the last time we saw him. A he rugged 293. Oh, 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 boy. Anyhow, Steve gave away a lot of weight. He went after that title. Let's take a look at the action highlight. 
with nine and a half minutes in has let Bass know that regardless of the outcome of this one, he's not in there with anybody that's going to lay down for him just because he is big as a side of the house. Bass, 292. Suplexes Kern and Kern bounced a good foot and a half off the canvas. Bass just drove him down into the mat. Ron Bass also trying to get his head clear. Now he's coming in there, flat of the foot, it's legal. All that weight driving right there on the small of the back on Steve Kern. The official 10 minute call, 50 minutes to wrestle. Kern is outside the ropes. Bass comes over, grabs the hair, and tries to pull him back. Kern on his feet now. Bass going for a suplex. And he got it. Oh, man, oh, man. One. Count of two. Bass out of it. Kern kicked him loose. Steve. I'm concerned about his canal bass. Look at him. He used the rope. He had that abdominal stretch hook with his leg. Beautiful position, but bass using the rope. Kern not giving it up, and look at bass put the pressure on him. Uses a fist to the back. Kern going for the rope. He's got it. Bass hammers down with that fist and the referee gets on him again about it. Ron Bass on the second rope. Look out, Steve. He dropped down with both fists. That was probably merciful. He was aiming for a specific area, though. He wanted that back. And he nailed him there. Kern in the air. Atomic drop in Steve Kern. Is covered by Ron Bass, but just a one count and barely that. What a gutsy guy this Kern is. Wow. He bulldog him, and that's Bass's favorite. Kern trying to roll to the ropes. Count of one, two, and Kern just drops that foot over the ropes, and that's going to call it. It breaks it up on a two count, and Steve Kern, directly in front of the timer's desk here by the rope, was just speared by Ron Bass right in the back. Bass intent at it now, and he got him again and current right off on the concrete floor. He hit him and knocked him all the way across the open space. Steve in trouble. He's going to need all of the strength to hop back up there. Current rolls under the table. What a smart move. Bass was up on the ropes. He was going to come off on current on the concrete. Kern rolled up under the timer's table, and he got the protection from that jump that he needed on Bass. Bass called it off, but look at this. There's that power slam. Boy, and look at Kern. Bass can't hold him. He's hurt him, but he can't hold him. Ron Bass. Going for the Bulldog, but Kern shakes him, slaps him down, two, three, he is the winner! Steve Kern! A brilliant move! Gets 
It's a one, two, three, and the new Mid-America heavyweight champion. The young man from Tampa, Florida, Steve Kern. Got to be a pretty happy fellow right here, boy. Let me congratulate you, Steve, because I'll tell you, and this is not to take a thing away from your athletic ability. I think you epitomize as much as any wrestler I've ever seen the combination of your physical skills and your mental ability. You wrestle a sensationally smart match against that big guy, boy, and he is a bull. Isn't he? Well, he is. He's a big one, you know, uh, Lance. I'll tell you what. There was a couple times in there I was wondering if I was even going to last through that match. You know, that Ron Bass, he's big, he's strong, he's powerful. He knows what he's doing in that ring. He knows how to injure people. And, you know, I, I have to say this, that even though I won this title, the people in Memphis that were watching it was